So my research deals with how to incorporate sustainability into our current business models. So before I talk more about my research, I need to explain why is it important, why it should be studied. So all of us know due to a lot of production practices currently adopted such as planned obsolescence and the short life cycle of products, a lot of time uh, we create an immense amount of solid waste which ends up in landfills and due to that there is a huge amount of wastage generated. Furthermore, by putting them in landfills, we take away the resource from circulation and we need to create more and more raw materials which leads to further pollution. Because of this, sustainable production and consumption has been identified by the United Nations as one of the 17 sustainable development goals. And the three R's that is the reduce, reuse and recycle has been proposed as a mechanism which can help us in creating development while lowering the carbon footprint of the overall planet. Given this context, what is the current practices that are going on? A lot of times, uh, a new uh, rules and regulations are coming in in the market and because of that, the firms are undecided because it is not completely understood whether you can actually build sustainability while not impacting your profits. Because of these reasons, the firms are fighting tooth and nail to stop this kind of policies from going directly or indirectly. In the, given this context, my research focuses on how to identify how the profits and the consumer welfare relationship. Are they diametrically opposite or is there any hidden lever that we can actually kind of explore that will give us a mechanism to benefit both consumers and the firm. Given this context, there is a lot of new sustainable products and services are coming in the last few years because of the firms are catching on that consumers want more sustainable practices. But we, we need to understand, are these sustainable business sustainable in the long term? What are some of the best practices that can be incorporated into the business models? And how can the policy makers frame their guidelines which will incorporate the, the sustainability without punishing the firm instead of incentivizing them. So, my research, in my research I look at mostly into some of the current practice such as refurbishing and some of the current consumer movements such as right to repair and I create a framework based on which a firm or a government body can frame their policies and one of the most interesting finding from my research is that direct uh, pressure doesn't work very well. Ideally, the firm should be motivated in, or incentivized instead of giving a direct carrot and stick approach. And furthermore, consumer preparation and education is of utmost importance. If the consumers are not ready to take the policy, even if it is a good policy, it will fail. So before we adopt any policy, pre-preparing pre the market for the consumer adoption is of uh, utmost importance. So I believe there is a lot of learning for future researchers as well as policy makers in my work and it might lead to some interesting insights for everybody involved in the system.